Hello and welcome Sensational Scorps. I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. I've got your March 2024 horoscope. Firstly, I'm going to draw two cards as theme cards for the month for you. We'll see how they work in with your horoscope. Let's go to the board. Here we go. So the first half of the month, the first card, what do I see? It's a sense of breaking free it might be that you've been held up this has been a bit of a theme for Libra and I feel like it it sort of rolls over a little bit into your sign as well that there's been some sort of delay or restriction here but you're about to experience some sort of sense of renewal or rebirth in the month of March and we do have Easter Sunday here I'll talk about that at the end but let's see what card we get that one there uh, the nine of pentacles maybe the sense of liberation is coming around your money supply it's a time to be creative with money and you might think of some new ways to make money and maybe you have got a side hustle of some description maybe you have some hobbies that you could make money from or even cleaning up around the home you might have a lot of stuff there that you don't use anymore maybe you can sell that but creative ways with your money not nine of pentacles coming to the end of the cycle with a new cycle around the corner let's have a look at the second half of the month for you what do i see for scorpios there's like a friendship bracelet around your wrist here this could indicate getting together with friends socializing going out and having a good time you've got a lot of activity here in your house of social uh, socializing let's see what card we get for you dear scorps the card that comes up again about your money six of pentacles deciding who gets paid when they get paid the terms by which they get paid it's organizing your finances it's doesn't really indicate whether it's positive or not but i sort of feel like it is it's better to be organized with money than not organized that's for sure people could be asking you for money maybe children want some money it's up to you whether you have some terms around that some boundaries i would encourage you to have boundaries around money it's your choice of course so money does seem to be on the cards so to speak although you have nothing in your personal financial zone the moon will be going in there early march the first week of march probably around the third fourth fifth around there something like that well even before that could be the second third fourth something like that but it's not full and it's not a new moon so it's not very important but let's have a look here at your horoscope i'm going to make this bigger like that so that you can see better Alrighty, keep these two cards in mind Alrighty, there's a wide T-square happening here on the first of the month only for a few hours involving the moon in your sign, Uranus to do with significant relationships, partners, business or personal and it's conjunct Jupiter so it's likely to be, this is likely to be quite strong dealing with what would you say unpredictable elements in your important relationships or perhaps even to do with legalities or someone that you don't get on with very well and the moon over here how how you deal with the world your identity your appearance and these planets here are really focusing here on venus in your fourth house so this is probably a family member or husband wife partner etc uh, so there could be just a bit of a, a caution i would say for the first day of the month it's very wide so it's it's probably not strong strong you will notice here that there is a lot of activity in what's called the second quadrant of your chart so with all these planets here you could be coming out of your shell and dealing more with the world dealing with other people whether it be family members or your friends or people that you socialize with and people that you spend a lot of time with in your normal everyday work or habits or routine as well or maybe even if you've got medical issues maybe it's people that you spend a lot of time with regarding those 
issues. The new moon is in Pisces on the 10th of the month here. So it brings new beginnings around your creativity, your leisure and your pleasure. A real party going on here in March. And you could really be going out and having a great time, a fun time. We have the lunar eclipse in Libra on the 25th over here. Deep down in your subconscious stirring things up. Maybe there's a bit of turbulence. You can ask yourself, because it's going to be conjunct the south node, are you dealing with any sort of subconscious energies in the same way as you've always done? So your history, your experience, are you open perhaps to dealing with these sorts of things in your spiritual life? Maybe dealing with them in a new way. So that's always possible. Then we have Mercury in Aries on the 9th up here. Lots of communications about your daily routine, your work, or maybe your health or well-being. Could be some brand new ideas there that you hadn't thought of previously or somebody tells you something that is good news. Then we have the Sun on the 19th also here bringing insight, awareness, maybe even comfort and stability around your work health or daily routine venus goes into pisces venus loves pisces they get on well together here in your fifth house bringing polite beautiful energy you could meet a beautiful new person they might be beautiful on the inside and the outside so socializing is great for you especially i don't know why i'm getting especially if you play cards maybe it means on the cards it's on the cards but yeah, quite possible. We also have Mars going in here as well on the 22nd. Mars brings a lot of energy and vitality to your social life or perhaps dealing with leisure and pleasure or children even. And because Venus is there, Venus is likely to smooth off the rough edges of Mars and you get the best of both worlds, having the masculine energy and the feminine energy here, maybe it means you're going out with both men and women. That, that's a possibility also. Now, other things that are happening that are quite important. There's the autumnal equinox on the 21st of the month. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, this is about you preparing for winter. Just means get organised. Maybe make sure that you've got enough food and things like that if you don't want to be going out in the cold. We don't tend to have really, really cold winters in Australia in many places apart from maybe Melbourne the Highlands and Tasmania most I mean it gets cold but nobody generally <laughs> freezes to death here it's not like the northern hemisphere but it's saying be prepared for the winter I am getting oh my god I am getting rain more rain we've had so much rain there could even be floods in winter which is like very unusual we get floods and some gosh no we've had so many floods but i get it going into winter so yeah please be prepared so stock up if you're in the northern hemisphere this is your spring equinox it's saying plant seeds and get ready for a bountiful harvest down the track in summer there could be joy and abundance around that the equinoxes are generally about finding a balance. You've, the seasons are changing and it's saying find balance in your life to accommodate those changing seasons. Also, we have Easter Sunday on the 31st. Now, it doesn't matter what religion you are or if you don't have a religion. Maybe you're an atheist and you're watching this. Not very likely, but never know. And it's not about religion as such. It's about the spiritual reality of rebirth and renewal. So many people have been going through a highly transformative time. This continues in March. It will probably be even more transformational. And it's like being born again. It's like having a book of life. When we come here, we all have our book of life. And it's like we're turning over a new chapter and a whole new beginning is starting for many people in March. Interestingly, we have the nine of pentacles, so it could be related to your finances. It's like working its way through the cycle. Nine is almost at the end, then there's the ten, the one and the zero, the new beginning. 
and we also have the six of pentacles making sure as you finish the cycle off that you have everything in order especially regarding your money but that's it for march there is a lot happening for everybody so thanks again and i hope to see you all again soon leave a like and a comment that would be fabulous have a very insightful march and i'll see you all again soon thanks and bye for now